Hey guys, this is pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, I'm going to be covering a natural substance called astragalus. Um, and can it be used to boost the immune system, improve your immune function? And we'll talk about the studies that we've seen. We'll, we'll talk about the feedback I get from folks. We'll talk about the safety profile and the dosing. So let's hop right into it. Before we do that, make sure to go to curtis-alexander.com. A lot of questions I get, people want to know how to get off drugs, medications, surgeries, those sorts of things. Uh, I have a free 30-day course there. You can go check it out. Just drop your name and email and I'll send it to you. Um, so first of all, astragalus has a long history of use. It was used in Chinese medicine still to this day for a lot of actual uses, but one of their priorities and their focuses is using it to improve immune function. So we have a number of different small studies. They were actually done in Chinese, but they did show that there was a trend towards altering cytokine concentrations and cytokines are involved in the immune process and, and different steps in that. So it does show promise from that point of view. Again, I wanna point out these were small studies. There were other studies that did show improvement. It didn't affect cytokine concentration, but it did show positive improvement. Basically, the subjects reported that I feel better, those sorts of things. Um, and they showed it in chronic fatigue and cancer-related fatigue. Another study, again, a small one, that actually looked at healthy volunteers, um, but they saw that there was a alteration in the T cell uh, as far as the count, which again is involved in the immune response. This was with an oral formulation, and they've also used astragalus as an add-on therapy in diseases uh, from HIV to the herpes simplex virus to Coxsackie B. Coxsackie B is basically starts out with stomach side effects and can get very serious. It can migrate into your heart. Um, so they've shown improvement that way. Um, so from a study standpoint, yeah, I think there's a lot of promise for it. Uh, it's not definitive yet, but it's clear that it's, it's doing something to help regulate the immune system. What about safety? Well, in the studies that appeared to be well tolerated, the feedback I've gotten from people that have tried it, tolerated it pretty well, um, you know, it's one of the problems with astragalus, and we we'll, might as well talk about this right now, is the dosing. Um, the recommendations are all over the map. Some people say, oh, take uh, 250 to 500 milligrams three to four times a day. Use it only when you get sick. Other people say drink a tea every day. The astragalus almost looks like a chunk of wood and you can make a tea out of that and drink that every day as a preventative. So the dosing recommendations, those are tough to nail down, but the evidence to this point does point to it helping the immune system. The, the question is, what's the dosing gonna be for you? Now, one thing I wanna point out, as we get to the higher ends of this dosing, what we think we're seeing is it can actually downregulate the immune system if the dose goes too high. So this points to the, in, in my opinion, this points to astragalus being more of an immune system regulator. It's not always going to boost the immune system because that can actually be problematic. We have autoimmune disorders where the immune system can attack the body. So it looks like it's regulating the immune system more than it is just simply boosting it. So let me know in the comments, have you taken it? Did you experience side effects? Were there any benefits from it? I would love to know. Other people would love to know. It's very helpful for them. And speaking of helpful, I hope this video was, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.